So in this situation, if somebody was um, like Rudder, who's, who's obviously 13 and he's mm. received an image that he hasn't asked for and distributed by, ac by accident, what sort of advice would you give a child in that position? Yeah, so I think the, the most important thing is just because something's against the law, it doesn't mean that you have to be um, punished and criminalised for it. That, you know, we all make mistakes. Um, and that's really important to remember. Um, the point is that if it does go to the police and you do end up um, in trouble and things do sort of get out of hand, and obviously in Rudder's case, we can't, I don't want to spoil the story, but <laughs> um, you know, luckily, you know, he managed to avoid something very serious. But, but um, if you do end up, even with something called a caution where you say, I did it, but everyone goes home again, it can actually be really serious to you. It can remain on your record. And what that means is if in later life you, you want to be a, a teacher, work with children, it's going to come up, right? So it's very important if, if this happens to you um, and you get any sense that that the, the police might be involved, or even if the school are, are starting to investigate it, that you take control, that you get proper legal advice. Um, there are lots of lawyers out there, but not all of them specialise in working with children and young people, mm. so it's very important. The Howard League have got a advice line, I think it's at the back of the book, and you can call it. There's also uh, another organisation called Just for Kids Law, which you can also call, and we help to make sure people get in touch with specialist lawyers. We don't do police station work ourselves, but we would help somebody to find that. And you don't have to wait till you're in the police station to call a lawyer. You can do it at any stage. And certainly you have to remember that if a teacher calls you in and says, right, we want to hear and we want to talk about this, just because you're in a, in a classroom setting or in, a, in, in the head teacher's office, doesn't mean that the information you provide there is private and confidential. That could all end up with the police. So I would say what's really important is to say I'm happy to cooperate with any investigation but first of all I want to get some legal advice and there's nothing wrong in doing that. Take control. So if I was right, if I was advising Rudd, I would have wanted to have actually been the first person he spoke to before speaking to the police. Um, because then you can get some proper advice and be supported. The other thing, I think, which is really important if you do end up at the police station, is making sure that all children under 18 are entitled to have an appropriate adult. Mm. And that is someone who's there to support you, to make sure your rights are respected and protected. But it's got to be someone who is appropriate. So sometimes your parent might be appropriate, but sometimes you might feel quite embarrassed talking about mm -hmm. stuff like that and if you don't think your parents are the right person as in as in the book you could have a social worker or somebody independent that can come so it's really important that you have someone you feel comfortable with so um and certainly just because the school is saying come and talk to us about this or, or whoever's saying come and talk to us doesn't mean that you have to just tell them everything it's about making it manageable getting advice taking control. It might be tempting if you've got that authority figure in school asking you to immediately sort yeah. of talk, particularly if you are quite young or quite naive or quite scared, yeah. your initial reaction might be just, just talk. Just, yeah. just to talk. Yeah. And, and we're not saying don't, don't talk to teachers at all, but you know, actually um, they may feel that they have to go to the police. That's not true. There's actually guidance that's out there saying that schools can deal with incidents without involving the police, but not all schools know that. So mm. a lawyer can actually say, yep, yeah, all right, we'll arrange for you to talk to the school, but we're going to explain to the school first that this could be just dealt with by the school. It might not have to go to the police. So there's ways of managing it because what you don't want is some picture that you sent without thinking, without realising, to end up meaning that you can't live your dream and be mm. a teacher or, or do whatever work it is that involves working with children in the future because it's there on your record. So it's really important, you know, as I said, lots of young people are getting involved yeah. in this. Um, maybe that, you know, that in itself might be something that mm. needs to be thought about and there might be other yes. reasons for that. Yeah. But um, but just because it, just because it's happened to you and someone's picked it up, it doesn't mean that you suddenly need to then um, let it take control of your whole life.